All right, so it's Cast Iron Wednesday. <laughs> I got to get to the store. Wife's hungry. And what mama wants, mama gets. So we're going to go to the store and uh, come back and cook her up some lunch. So, all right, stand by. Okay, so what we have here is uh, some carne asada bought from uh, the local Mexican grocery store, the Vallarta. Probably one of the best places to buy that. We have some shredded cheese, some refried beans from Vallarta, some pico de gallo, same thing from Vallarta, and uh, two cans of liquid cheese, and some uh, chips from uh, Vi the Vallarta store that are unsalted, because your boy has to watch out for his salt. All right, so the pan's hot. Got the meat in the pan. We're gonna start getting that all cooked. Um, if you don't know what carne asada is, it's just uh, it's steak with uh, onions and cilantro and some uh, pretty awesome seasoning. And uh, yeah, it's delicious. All right, so here we are. It's uh, almost ready to go. Almost, almost done there looking pretty good okay so we have both cans of the cheese in there in, in a pan in a support pan and we're gonna add some milk to uh, thin that out uh, basically what we want is we don't want the cheese to stick inside the little whisk so I mean basically we want it smooth and we want it a little thin but, uh, yeah, looks like it's about ready. That looks excellent. Oh, yeah. Got it on the plate. We're going to start putting it together. Don't, don't put the beans all in the same spot, dude. What the hell are you doing? Anyway, um, going to put the beans on. And uh, we're gonna put some uh, meat on here. All right, get that meat on. And no, I didn't drain any of the grease because that's just flavor. Oh yeah. Ooh. Yeah, more more meat on there. Oh, we're not gonna put any more meat on. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start dumping the cheese on. See how loose that is. That's how exactly how we want it. And uh, pretty soon, what, what are we doing here? Oh, yep, shredded cheese. Gotta have the shredded cheese. And uh, pretty soon after the shredded cheese is probably gonna be pico de gallo. Yeah, I don't know why I had such a problem filming this and putting it together. The one, the one-handed thing and trying to look through the camera at the same time is, I don't know, it's tripping me out. Wasn't working out real well. But uh, since this is my wife's right here, well, we're going to put some uh, sour cream on that. We're not going to go too heavy on the pico de gallo, but on mine and, and uh, Jimmy's, we're going to load it up. Ooh, that just looks like a mess. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, got to include that bird. It will touch your hand. What do you think, asshole? He can grab my uh, hand, but he's not going to be all puffed up like that. What do you think? That. Taste it. Go ahead. So what do you think? Is it good? Of course he thought it was good. He ate it all. What do you he think, ate asshole? every bit of it. Huh? <laughs> is that good? Ugh. That bird is so mean. Very disappointed you guys. Well, there it went. It was a success. Turned out pretty good. And uh, she's happy. So <laughs> that's all that matters. <laughs> anyway, guys, uh, check out Shovelhead 8 and uh, 
check out D from Native Tears. She's the one that started Cast Iron Wednesday. And uh, go over there and check out my buddy Mark over at Eat Carb Outdoors. He always does some uh, pretty cool stuff for Cast Iron Wednesday. And uh, check out the playlist as well. So, all right, guys.